so for step two, the gearbox, we're going to put in the differential that we just built in step one. We've got this little shaft, which you can see there, it's moved, but it would be right there and you can see it's a perfect, a perfect fit. Um, that's got to go in, in between. We've got to grease this up and I think I am going to put some extra grease on that. We did the other side, so I think I'll do one on the other side. And then we have these four screws, which again, as you're putting them on, you're going to see that they're a perfect fit and we'll attach the two sides of the gearbox together. So let's grease this up, put the pin in, put the differential and, and close up the two sides. So first off, let's get some grease going onto this gear here. And I'll just spin it with my pinky finger so that we're getting enough on there. But I'm not gonna put too much because we already put some uh, when we were building the differential. So just get enough. And that's how much I'm gonna put on. So now you can see that we have our little shaft and that they're saying you need to grease that up as well. So let's do that. We'll grease this up. Bit of a messy job, but that's what it's all about. I don't mind. So then you can see that's gonna go into the center. So if we grab this, that's going to sit just like that. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more on this side now that I'm not holding it. And then when we take this gear, you can see that this is the side where we put in the little shafts and the bevel gears. Well, on the image, it looks like it is the back side of that. So we're gonna take the side that we were working on and we've got to get it into that center hole. So if I look at the way this is gonna go, I'm going to put it in just like that. So you can see there's the, the pin right there and then we're going to take the other side of the gearbox and we're all set we've got it all uh, greased up we're now going to set this into the other hole so now it kind of just snaps a little bit into place so in order to finish that off we need to grab our BB1 screws and start screwing them in. So we've got one there. Now here's one other thing to look at. I'm gonna screw this in, but I'm not going all the way. And I have reasons for this. Um, you wanna make sure that everything gets seated properly. You don't wanna screw one in all the way and then discover that the plastic wasn't coming together or something was interfering with something else and then you've got to take out a screw. We wanna make sure that they're all going in properly. So we know that that screw was up here, that screw was down there. There's also two more, so you can see that one is right there. So I'll turn this over, I'm going to screw start screwing that one in and then we have a final screw which will be right there under kind of where the axle or the yeah I guess the axle or the housing the gear housing is going to join with the chassis so you can see there's our four screws one two three and four so now that they're all in, we're gonna be able to slowly start going around. And I just like to do it this way because then I know as I'm going around whether certain things are working, whether things are binding, and then I can make a nice fit of it. So with this one, looks like we'll go all the way now because all of them seem to be doing okay go around grab that last one and then of course this one right here Uh, 
Okay, so final test, one. Two. Three. And four. So there we go. There is our finished gearbox. And now, if you see where we're spinning, you can kind of see the gear inside. So everything seems to be working fine. And if I grab one side, I can feel everything is moving nice and smooth. And if I hold one, which is a bit tougher at the moment, but you can tell that the differential is working as well. One of the nice things about the Grasshopper and the Hornet, um, and really, um, I think this is even more or less the same kind of gearbox as what's on the Lunchbox. They're really solid gearboxes. Like, they can take a lot of abuse. So, with the Grasshopper and the Hornet specifically, um, just because this is the same, the same chassis, uh, you just know that these gearboxes are going to last you a long time. So, we are done with step two. So now, we're going to move on to step three, which is attaching the motor. Yeah.